a friend of my sister has recently been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, commonly known as MS. What is MS, and what kind of symptoms people may suffer from? Are there treatments or cure for MS? Today's video, we're going to discuss that in detail. Welcome to Dr. Yang's Health Talk. Health is our number one asset. Let's take good care of it. First, let's look at what is multiple sclerosis. Multiple really means it can happen in the multiple locations of the body. And which part of body MS affects? It is actually the most important system of our body, our brain, spinal cord, and the nerve. Why do we call it sclerosis? It is because the protective shell around the nerve being damaged. What is the cause of it? We really don't know. What we do know, it is that our immune system, for some strange reasons, began to attack our own nerve system. Therefore, we call it autoimmune disease. I'm hesitant to accept this terminology because the body doesn't attack itself. For no reasons, if we don't make effort to look for these reasons, we may lose opportunity to find the root causes of conditions that trigger or contribute to the symptoms of multiple sclerosis. What kind of early signs of multiple sclerosis? Because our nerve system controls every function of our body, the sense, the movements. The thinking, cognition, and emotions. So it can be anything, but most commonly the initial signs include fatigue. People can feel extremely tired for no reasons. People can lose vision or begin to have blurred vision or double vision, which is the case of my friend's sister. She began to gradually lose vision on her left eye. I had a patient in the past who developed trouble urinating. And we also often see people have developed problem with tingling, numbness of legs or arms, or having trouble walking in balance. Because MS happens relatively more in women and in younger people, so if you fall into that category, you need to be very alert when you develop symptoms like that. You should consult healthcare professionals to investigate. The reason of those symptoms, of course, these symptoms can happen in many other medical conditions, not exclusive to multiple sclerosis. So, what treatments are available for patients with multiple sclerosis? Before that, let's talk about what happens if we don't treat them. If we don't treat them, some people might experience remission by self, and then relapse, then remit, then relapse. But every time they develop a little more consequences of the disease process. In other words, they may have more symptoms or disability left as a result of the relapses. Secondly, is gradually progressive. In other words, they continue to become worse and worse over the time. Sometimes they can be very serious to begin with, then slow down. Sometimes they can chronically developing, but suddenly deteriorating rapidly. So there are different kind of pattern. It depends on each individual situations. Whatever happens, you need to consult your doctors immediately to explore your treatment options. What are the treatments available for MS? There are generally three categories of treatments. Number one, to change the disease process or slow down the disease progression. This category is mostly our medications that designed to interrupt body's immune system against your nerve system, which including medications and the monoclonal antibodies that prevent immune system attacking nerve cells and、uh, preventing them from entering. Central nervous system. Second category is mostly to relieve the symptoms because MS causes chronic fatigue, 
pain, spasm of muscles, losing control of the bladder and the bowels. Therefore, any medication can help relieve those symptoms often utilized in treating MS patients. The third is rehabilitation and activity support. Often people need speech therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy. Sometimes they need devices to support them like wheelchair or walkers and so on and so forth so that they can keep certain level of functionality. My friend's sister has been treated with steroids and offered other medications, but she wants to explore other options that can help her with less side effects and hopefully explore the root causes. I'm going to see her this morning. I will keep you posted how we evaluate her from integrative medicine approach and what we discover. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.